First off, I want to thank the uh, brave men and women who work behind the wall. I want to thank them on a national level because their job goes on How recognized. How do they try to turn a guard? Well, President, uh, correction officer, sorry, I apologize, uh, but correction officer. Uh, How are you guys doing today? It's Anthony Ganji, host of Tear Talk. I'm going to show you guys a video, and I want your opinion on this. This video comes from Colorado, Sterling Correctional Facility, and it is an event, an event that may have gotten carried away. I'm very curious about your thoughts. All right, here's the video. Built to hold nearly 2,500, Sterling Correctional Facility is not traditionally known to be a fun place to spend a day, but one weekend in September. The event was a fundraiser for the Correctional Peace Officers Foundation. Warden Jeff Long's prison hosted an event with cheesecake, kettle corn, cotton candy, snow cones, and chess, basketball, flag football, slip and slide. It sounds like a carnival. I think if you took just that specific information, didn't look at the totality or the intent, that's a narrative you could build. But it wouldn't be accurate. What would be accurate, he says, is that the event raised more than 10 grand for the foundation in part because <laughs> some inmates agreed to pitch in even more if certain female staff members agreed to go in a dunk tank. Put our feet in there. Yes. <laughs> a dunk tank. I think they had a lapse in judgment. Yet what he calls a lapse in judgment, a DOC employee called dangerous. In this email obtained by Nine Wants to Know, a DOC case manager said, in my opinion, it sends the message to the offenders that they can touch female staff without any consequences. If you didn't know ahead of time what the video was going to show, you would assume it was a prison riot. I don't believe that was malicious. I believe their heart was in the right place. The event was only for a medium and minimum restricted level inmates, said a spokesperson for DOC. Each of the staff members was told why this was not acceptable behavior. I'm very confident that they all understand, very confident that they all understand uh, the impact. Sterling Correctional has, for the last year and a half, agreed to host fundraisers on prison grounds for such nonprofits as Special Olympics and Santa's Miracle Project. It's all part of a DOC-wide effort to push something known as normalization. So let's allow them to practice the things they need to practice when they do get out. Stung by a high recidivism or return rate, Colorado's prisons are looking for ways to keep prisoners out of prisons for good. Normalization aims to bring life as close as possible to normal life outside of prison. A DOC handout suggests prisons paint walls, integrate music, change fluorescent lights, and add decor. It does not suggest this. Are you embarrassed by this? Initially, I was, I was surprised. I don't know if embarrassed is the right word. I was, I was surprised and, and I was disappointed. Warden Long says the dunk tanks were not part of normalization, but the fundraiser that day was. No one was hurt. Lesson learned, he says. Are you going to still have these events in the future? Yes, sir. Uh, probably no dunk tanks, though. <laughs> so we'll definitely evaluate all the events that are that are approved. Chris Vanderveen, Nine News. He didn't rule out the dunk tank again. The cameras used to record those videos were DOC issued as well. The warden will not say if any of the employees were disciplined. That prison houses many high security prisoners. They were not allowed to take part in the fundraiser. <laughs>